Hi everyone, my name is Carolyn Weininger from Tel Aviv, Israel, and I'm the chair of the Obstetric Anesthesiology Subcommittee, and I'm here with my friend and colleague Nula Lucas from London, and we're here to talk about the European Society of Anesthesiology and Intensive Care programme of our subcommittee. Nula, we've been through quite a lot this year with planning and replanning programmes. How have you been managing postgraduate education? Bearing in mind that COVID as a word wasn't even on our radar this time last year, who could have imagined that life could have changed so dramatically in the last few months? And we have moved to webinars, which I think have many, many positives about them. I think one of the obvious ones is that it's accessible to so many more people. Um, but of course, we do miss that face to face contact, that that absolute, that personal sense you get connecting with colleagues from all over the world when you go to face to face meetings. And of course, the ESA meeting was an absolute highlight of the year for all of us in that regard. But luckily enough, the ESA has managed to keep the program and transfer it to a virtual yeah. platform. Mm -hmm. We have seven sessions in obstetric anesthesiology plus one in the COVID track. Um, what do we expect to see in this program? We've got some fantastic speakers, some fantastic sessions. I think with a huge focus on maternal safety, we're looking at the organisational aspects of maternal safety. And we've got people like uh, my colleague Jim Bamber from the UK talking about the Embrace inquiry. We've got Marion Knight from the same inquiry. And from the US, we've got Brian Bateman, who are real experts on the organisational aspects, the things we can do to innovate for maternal safety. And alongside that, we've got some fantastic clinical lectures, um, yourself included, talking about key elements of clinical care that can really make a difference to maternal safety. And we've got some uh, great, great lectures, great speakers talking about t topics such as amniotic fluid embolism, how to do a category one cesarean section quickly. Um, I think there's something for everyone in the programme that um, yourself and Frederick and that I have contributed to. And I'm really delighted that the ESA has supported getting this important education out to colleagues, not just across Europe, but hopefully internationally beyond the bounds of Europe. So the ESA has put together an interactive program. So although you'll be listening to pre-recorded um, lectures, during every session, there'll be an opportunity to put your questions to the speakers who will be joining us and to have those questions answered. Um, we'll also have one live panel where we'll be talking about the fetus and drugs in pregnancy. It's one of the really fantastic aspects of a of a face to face meeting that immediate interaction you can get between the speakers and delegates, uh, and I'm really delighted to see that we're going to be some live sessions, particularly about such important topics. So we're really lucky that you're going to be reviewing the year in literature. And I'm sure when you were given this task, you weren't expecting um, this type of literature to be reviewing. Can you give us a little highlight of uh, what we'll be hearing, the top picks of uh, publications in the last year? Yeah, well, it's been challenging. There's no doubt about it. And also um, what's top picks for some people, maybe different top picks for other people. I've obviously had to include something about COVID. I haven't, hopefully haven't let it dominate. But I've tried to choose papers that I think have some personal resonance for my own practice, things that have really made me think, gosh, you know, should I do this differently? Should I alter my practice in some way? So I hope everyone enjoys the papers I've chosen. Um, it's certainly been fun choosing them. Thanks, Nula. It was so great to chat to you. Really looking forward to our exciting conference for all of us. The first conference under our new name of the European Society of Anesthesiologists and Intensive Care. And if you haven't registered, there's still time to do so. And we look forward to seeing you all there.